I feel like this is a cooking show. I feel like I should be going. Hello and welcome to Cooking with Crazy Trekkie. I'm Faith the Crazy Trekkie and I'm going to be teaching you how to make sandwiches. Okay, so we're starting with sandwiches today. Today we're going to make two kinds of sandwiches. The first kind of sandwiches is going to be a peanut butter and honey sandwich. Simple as can be. You take the peanut butter and you take the knife. You open up the peanut butter. This is a brand new peanut butter. Somebody poked it. I don't know why. They must have been opening it. But it doesn't look like they ever actually used it. Um, so you start with the peanut butter and you start with a knife and then you grab two pieces of bread out of, this, out of the, the bread bag. You put them on the plate, then you open it up. You want to keep facing sides facing. You just want to open like a book, a, a bread book. You just open it. Then you take the peanut butter and the knife and you stab it in there and you scoop a gob of peanut butter up on them. You take a piece of the bread, it doesn't matter which, you smear it around until you get a nice good coat and if you don't have enough, you'll go back for more. Just smearing the peanut butter. This is the chunky kind, so it's got little bits of nuts in it. Smearing the peanut butter. I have to go back for another dollop. And just smear the peanut butter all over that piece of bread. Just all over. Make sure you get all the way out to the edges because you don't... If you're going to eat the crust, you don't want the crust to have no flavor at all. So, there is the peanut butter side of a peanut butter sandwich. So you put that on the plate, you put it so it looks like this, and they match. Then you take your honey, you kind of draw with the honey on your blank piece of bread. You just kind of go and dribble, 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 draw with the, with the honey, and it just kind of, uh, it gives some extra sweetness, and then um, you just, uh, it does some interesting things when you uh, squish it enough and let it sit. It kind of crystallizes in the bread. Anyway, and then you close your sandwich and then you're done. Simple as can be. And then you take a little baggie, which is a sandwich baggie, which you fold a specific way. You take your sandwich, you take it by the top, you input it butt first into the paper bag, and then you close it. Simple as can be. Just like that. One sandwich ready to go. Sandwich number two. I don't need this anymore. I don't need this anymore. So I'm cleaning up the ingredients I don't need from that first sandwich. So I'm putting away the peanut butter. And I'm putting away the honey. I'm cleaning off the knife. Save the knife for later because I kind of want to lick it. Okay, now for the next sandwich. The next sandwich takes a bit of work. Alrighty. The way I'm going to do this sandwich is a way so that it won't end up all soggy with the tomatoes that are in the middle. So I take and do the same thing with the bread, open it book style on the piece of, on the paper plate. So I take the roast beef, because she wanted roast beef. So then I have to open it because it's a brand new thing, roast beef. And then I peel off the lids and peel off the little goobers. Put the little goobers on the thing to go in the trash at a later date. So, then I open it. And it's got a little baggie on the side, and you take the little baggie. And then you peel where it says peel here on the little baggie. Simple as can be. Well, kind of simple. I'm having issues with it. There we go. Okay, so then you've got your roast beef. I will give her um, enough to cover. I don't know how many that will be. Probably two. The other one is the turkey, but I already had that open because I had a turkey sandwich last night. So you take a piece of turkey. We'll start with the turkey because the turkey is easiest to extricate. I'm mixing my accents here. Moving on. You take it and you fold it so it covers about the piece of bread. Yeah, slap it on there then. Yeah, done with that side of the sandwich. Then the other side of the sandwich you take your roast beef. You've got to extricate it carefully, otherwise you'll rip the little pieces. And then you end up with a little flat roast beef, which you just kind of lay on there. And then you got another one. And you take your roast beef, and you make sure it's a little piece, you just lay it on there. Alright, so you've got your meat. 
your meat. It's done. It's ready to go. Simple as can be. Okay, I'm washing the meat juices off of my fingers, and I'm closing the meat because I don't need it anymore. So, we adjust this, and then put that over there. Put this lid back on this. Don't put the tomatoes over on top of the sandwich until you cut it. So now I'm gonna do the tomatoes. I've got the tomato, uh, I cut part of it from the sandwich for last night. And I've got a tomato. And I'll take the tomato and I'll set it on there while I get out a steak knife. Steak knives are really, they're quick, they're easy, they're a way to cut your tomato. You just got to be careful of your fingers. Okay. I've cut a slice of tomato. It's a little slice of tomato. Yes, slap it on there. I think she might want more tomato than that though, so I'm gonna cut her another slice and then slice that slice into pieces. So, cutting my tomato again. I'm totally mixing my accents at this point. I don't give a blooming damn. Moving on. All right, here's the cut tomato that I'm going to have to cut again. So, I take the tomato and I cut it straight down the center, still keeping a watch out for my fingers. So, there we go. You got a little bit of a half tomato and you lay that along the side and you got another half tomato and then you lay that along the top and your sandwich has been tomatoed. So, tomatoes are done. All right, final ingredient. I've got the lettuce. It's a big old head of lettuce. So, to do the lettuce, you take, you set the lid aside. You take your head of lettuce and don't drop it on itself. And then you peel some good looking leaves and you put them in the lid. I am peeling some good looking leaves. But that's not a good looking leaf. It's really brown and it's really white. So you don't want that. You want your green leafies. Your green leafies like over here. These are some good leaves. Yeah, take them. Yeah, peel them. These ones have to be rinsed because the top layer was funky. So there's some lettuce. Put the rest of the lettuce in there and then you rinse this or to just tear pieces off because I've got plenty of lettuce. So, there's a piece of lettuce. That's a nice piece of lettuce. You lay that on top there, you kind of rip it to fit your sandwich. And then you keep ripping and you add some more layers of lettuce until it's about completely covered. And then the rest of this is pretty much garbage. All right, now that you're done with that, you close your sandwich. Now, this is kind of a tricky maneuver because you've got a turkey on one side and then your lettuce on the other, but the lettuce is more likely to fall apart when you try and flip it. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take the turkey side. You've got the turkey side. You take your turkey side, you take your plate, and you just flip it. Yeah, just flip it. I'm not even going to show you how to do this because I think you can figure it out. You take it like this, you set it on top, you smash it down, that's it. The sandwich is done. Simple as that. So, now I take another bag, just like the other bag I had. You take it, you squish it again, squish it a little bit, you take it by the top, and then you slide it into the bag. Just slide it right in there. And it's a little bit harder because it's got some funky edges on account of the lettuce and the meat that a peanut butter sandwich doesn't have. But there we go. All right, in the bag, squish it together, close the bag. Simple as that. Sandwich number two. Sandwiches are done. I'm going to put them in the refrigerator so they'll sit and they'll stay cold. Not that mine needs to stay cold, but Amanda's needs to stay cold because hers has lunch meat and vegetables. So off to the fridge they go. Now I just need to remember to grab those in the morning. All righty. So this is trash. This is our leftover lettuce junk. This is our roast beef lid. Uh, this is our twist tie for our bread, which we need to not let the cats get at. Here's a piece of lettuce. Um, there's a paper plate that I don't need. So I will just dump all of this on the paper plate, put the lid back on the lettuce, and there's my ingredients ready to go back in the fridge. Simple as that. All righty. Closing up the bread so it can go back in the pantry and then we'll be done with the sandwiches. And that was cooking with Crazy Trekkie. I'm your host, Crazy Trekkie. No, I'm not Irish. You can probably tell by the fail of an accent. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.